Hi, my name is Dave Nicholas and I'm the driver of the Honey Bee, a 1960 MGA. And I'm here at Sebring and I've got to tell you, this is just such a magical place. I first tamed the Sebring in 1959. I've got to qualify that because I never made it. I was in high school and I met a bunch of guys that raced in SCCA. I wrote them a letter and they said, Dave, if you can make it to Sebring, you can stay with us, you can be on the pit crew. And I'll tell you, for a 17-year-old kid, that was like a gift from God. But my parents wouldn't let me go. I lived in upstate New York and they said, son, you're crazy, you are not going to Florida. What I did is I took my paper route money out of the savings bank, <laughs> bought, a, bought a bus ticket, and went out, left, ran away from home, left high school, and went to Sebring. The problem is, is I thought I could get all the way there and back on $30. I mean, what does a 17-year-old know? So instead, I ran out of money, and I stopped in Richmond, Virginia, and I went to Western Union. And I had Western Union talk to the bank where my little savings account was, and to have them send me 30 more dollars. Well, my father, being the smart guy, alerted the bank and said, if you hear from this maniac, call me. They called him, he called the police, and I remember sitting on the curb outside the Western Union office, and a police car came up and said, are you Dave? I said, yeah, how did you know that? They said, get in the car, son. <laughs> they picked me up, put me on a bus, and sent me back. But that's not the end of the story. A friend of mine named Steve Vale was really upset because I ran away from home and went to Sebring and didn't include him. He said, we're going. So I was the hero of the high school, right? Hey, big guy, runs off to Florida. Steve Hale then went to his grandmother's house, stole her Chrysler Imperial, picked me up at midnight, and we took off again for Sebring. We got picked up for speeding about 100 miles an hour in Southern Virginia. They threw us in jail, and that's the end of the story. We did get to Sebring in 1960. We've been there ever since, and that's why it's a very special place. I'm telling you, Sebring has all the ghosts of all the great races ever, and I'm just a, pleased to be here.